What's up guys, today we're gonna to teach you how to catch catfish with live bait. We just caught some bluegill and sunfish from Sam's Pond, and we're gonna get out there with some fish finder rigs, and then we're gonna use some bobber floats too. If you don't know how to tie those up, go check out the other videos, and we'll get you set. So, we're gonna use nice palm-sized fish, and hopefully get some nice 25, 30 pounders. We're gonna show you how it's done, take you through step by step, check it out. So we're out here with our fish finder rig. We got our weight. <laughs> we got our hook, and now we're gonna teach y'all how to throw on your live bait. So, Sam here has an excellent trouble flow. Um, we got, we got, all, we got all of our bait. Um, I'm searching for a palm-sized little sunfish. So you got them right here. You're gonna take your hook and put it right back there. See, right here, right into it, right behind it, right there. That's where you're going to want to put it, right beneath its dorsal fin. It's going to keep it alive, keep it jittering around so then the flatheads will come up and just nail it. You'll also catch blue on it too, so do you go. Just like that. Now we're just going to toss it off into this slack water. We're currently standing in some slack, like some, some slow rapids, and so the catfish are just going to sit right here. There's a really deep pool of water, and we're going to freaking get them. We're going to freaking get them, slap, slap. What's that? <laughs> Slap fishing, you know how it is. And hey, hey, since we're giving you all this information, like, subscribe, and comment below, baby. All right. Let it rip. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, there it is. All right, and we're gonna let it go. This is a newly cleaned up reel too. If you want to learn how to clean up your reel, go check out that video. Click that link. Click, click that link. Baby. I got my hype man with me today. So another tip, if you. <laughs> if you get if you get snagged up, just let it hang on a rock. Because the, the chances are you're caught on some structure and catfish like structure. <laughs> so I went to go find my bait, and then I found this guy. <laughs> I found this guy under there. Uh, yeah, he's probably like 15 pounds. But you know when they're not biting, sometimes you just gotta go hunt them yourself. So grab the net and goggles, and we got them. Let's get a quick view. Don't mess my hand up. <laughs> Woo -hoo. There you go, that's how it's done, baby. Wait, yeah. hold on, wipe off the lens real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. There we go, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now we're gonna let him back. No, I'll let him back over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, now we're gonna split up into two teams. We're gonna search out the left side, and then Sam's gonna search out the right side, and we'll see if we can make it. <laughs> it's really deep, but hey, we're gonna try and get on some fish. The sun is setting, and. That's usually good news when you catch a catfish. Guys, we might have two fishies right now. Hey! So guys, we got a catch. Shout out to Louie. He's used to be a big fisherman, then you know times have changed. He has some rough fins with the girl. Uh, now he's back at it again, and he's catching. Big doinks and homage. Yeah, yeah, sorry, now put your hand on it. Put your hand on it. Put your hand on it. Yeah, sir. Beautiful sunset. It looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt. Cole, how you doing there, bud? And that was our day. We caught two catfish, one on rod and reel. That's why we stick to noodling, you know? We get like 20 fish in a day usually. We suck at home. <laughs> if you want to catch, you go noodling. But yeah, there we go. That's how to catch some fish on live bait, baby.